so yeah today's the 13th and i've actually missed like two days of filming i didn't film but i'm going to update you today on what i've been stitching and something really nice happened today well stitchy stitching wise <laughs> anyways um i've been stitching this by at the end of last video i think that i've said that i wanted to stitch my lighthouse and i did actually i did get to stitch it i stitched it for like two days if i'm not mistaken i do have uh 73 almost 74 percent finished from this project so you guys i'm on my finish line and that makes me feel so good <laughs> You have no idea because I really 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 want to finish one Himera. I I need to make sure that that's right, but um I know that Katrus Nirokodelki, the shop where I get my uh Himeras, they do have this thing going on that if you finished one project, one Himera project, they give you a free chart. So I think that maybe that is something really really interesting <laughs> i'm going to have to check about that but i do hear about it from other girls like on russian youtube that do stitch these uh charts so if that's really true that's going to be really great the only thing is that i have so many charts to stitch that i don't really know if i do need more <laughs> but you know what that's fine um let's just say that i've been stitching this project for like a couple of days um the last day when i've stitched it was on the 11th so the 11th well like three days ago let's just say three days ago because it's already almost one o'clock at night and i do need to get some stuff arranged around the house because my house is a mess uh oh i do have a baby <laughs> um and mark is finally asleep he went to bed a little late and he's kind of fussy for some reason so um hopefully he'll be sleeping um and let me finish up some stuff around the house i need to wash his bottles and stuff like that so yeah and then go to bed so i have stitched 755 cross half crosses or crosses let's just say half crosses on the 11th and that's a really good amount um it is a really easy stitch if you can tell it's basically only the sky area now all around and really big color spots where you can just stitch stitch for your enjoyment but um you know at some point it's getting tired and i have so many projects that i want to stitch I'm just like this one but i am crazy about this i really really want to finish it and i'm sure that i will be stitching it again in a couple of days maybe not even in a couple of days maybe even tomorrow we'll see about that i haven't decided yet i think that tomorrow i'll go for my oven maybe like lewis a little bit um i do have a little one to stitch it and you know what i forgot about i forgot about my long dog so maybe i'll stitch some of my long dog tomorrow that's maybe is going to be my plan now um today I wasn't stitching this I was not stitching anything except of one thing that I was sure that I'm going to finish today and I am like 95% done with and that is there you go <laughs> do you recognize uh, that is my little snow girl um, grandpa winters uh, granddaughter <laughs> and she is basically finished she is finished like the only thing that i've left to do is to stitch both of the sides together but all the, all is done <laughs> i have finally finished her today i am so happy about that because you know every time you finish something it just makes you so happy so let me show you 
the stitches up close everything is pretty neat um, this project actually went much much better uh, than the other one because if you can remember my nutcracker i got a little delayed with that one i was sure that i was going to finish him in a couple of days but no i ended up getting tired of him and just put him aside for a very long time but um that didn't happen with this little gu girl <laughs> and i have finished her so i think that she looks so cute this is a front her beautiful coat she is holding a little squirrel isn't this just so cute whenever you use um, you know a backstitch on a project it really really changes the whole picture because I did look at it before I did backstitch on the squirrel and it was so blurry I mean you did not realize that it was a squirrel I mean, maybe because I knew there was, I knew that, but if I would have been just stitching it, I never would have guessed. But look at him. He is so cute. And she has blue, beautiful eyes. She has beautiful um, crown or a hat. I don't know how you call it. Whatever she is. Whatever she has on her hat. And uh, on her hat. On her head and basically i think this project is so fun to stitch even um though i haven't stitched with beads for a while i actually got to miss it and maybe i do have a project well i've showed you maybe the two little rats that i am planning on stitching hopefully maybe this year um I think that beading is really really beautiful especially the shiny one like you have the pearly white one and the shiny one so it looks beautiful okay so just to remind you what this was this was a project from Sharp Ditsa from these little beautiful designs uh, basically these are like tree you can hang them on your Christmas tree it had um 18 colors it had a plastic canvas it had uh of course beads a chart and um a needle so that's something no actually no sorry i lied it didn't have a needle usually these projects don't have needles the size of her is 13 um height and eight centimeters width <laughs> And she is this beautiful little girl. Now, on the back side, you have this. Inside, just a little booklet. And inside, you have the chart. And I have colored the chart. Now, what I have with threads. These are my threads. Every thread is still here. Like, it had a very good amount of thread. What I don't like about these organizers is this. Like, my organizer with the crack, nutcracker actually ripped. And these little spots, usually, um, if you pull on the threads and you pull it too hard, they actually rip as well. And that what happened with my organizer on my other project, the the little thingy over here is had ripped and i just had my threads laying around kind of in a bad mood <laughs> anyways but um i'm going to do a little um i guess spoiler because i have a package that's supposed to get to me i don't know when um it's kind of a big purchase well not it's not a big purchase but it has quite a few kits from this type and basically these kits i have a plan of stitching during this year so my plan was to when i was going to film my new year's uh plans for this year um which i am still going to do by the way i just did not get my packages which i ordered like a month and a half before uh new years and that's something that ruined my plans for a video now um i'm supposed to get a package with these and i have another plan with smaller designs which is um, um 
again spoiler alert it's on wooden canvas yeah it's really interesting it's a really interesting project and i am dying to share it with you i actually had received after looking for it like crazy two of the kits and i just decided to try and order from that particular store because i've never ordered from them before and I actually got it again it was also delayed but not as much and i ordered again from that store the rest of the kits because it's a series that's really really interesting and i'm sure that it will be really really interesting for you too um so i'm hoping that it will arrive soon if not i'll just hope that these kits will arrive soon uh now i have another plan i have bought a stitching journal a cross stitch journal i ordered it from um amazon because i don't have anywhere else to buy it from and i really am i cannot wait to get it i am so interested on how it's looking because my um i really want to start writing down my projects like um I want to inventory my charts, my charts, well, maybe even my charts, my kits that I have. I want to write down the projects when I start them, when I finish them. It's really, really interesting to me. Um, and maybe it will be interesting to you too if I'll be able to tell you when I started it, when I finished it, how long it took. So that's really an interesting thing. Plus, I really want to write in a journal. I don't know why anyways that's something that i'm waiting for as well hopefully it will not delay as much because this uh, order of these kits and there are quite a few of them um i am waiting for for like two months now and it didn't arrive and they say that it's not a priority mail for some reason and it can take up to three months never in my life have i waited three months to receive a package I don't know what's going on with that one hopefully it's not lost uh the package that i have ordered from my bobbin um one of them had arrived a while ago uh and the other never did um like i said in my last video i think i updated you about that i did um ask for a letter because my post office said that that order that package was never sent out of uh ukraine and that was because it were not allowed to be shipped for some reason but the seller told me that i need to prove that to them that i have that information because i got that information on a phone call with my post office after waiting for one hour to get online with somebody um and they said that i need to prove to them that that's the information because they have an information from their post post office that it was shipped which is really strange now i called my post office my post office is the main post office in israel and asked them for some paper for some letter that i can send to the seller and tell them that the package never arrived to israel and it's two months it's impossible to be shipped out of uh, ukraine and take two months to arrive here what is it like flying around waiting to land um so they gave me some letter that says that something like israel never received info about that package and that the seller is responsible for the merchandise and up until the point it leaves ukraine and it's up to them to check it up so i sent that to him after a couple of days i don't know what's wrong with their like um, um custom care but they are taking really really long to answer and they are really not good in responding so um it never happened before by the way they used to be good with that i don't know why it happens maybe they're tired of me because i keep asking for my package uh or for my money back but um they actually 
did answer me after receiving that letter and said that um, they have written to their post office and they will be waiting for answers because they need to look for my package. It's lost. Great. Now, I've asked, it was like four or five days ago when they have answered me that. And um, I did write to them like two days ago asking them what's happening with the info about my package. And they never answered me. So I don't know what to do about that. Uh, that actually, that had only one kit in it, but it was an expensive kit. It was not like crazy money. But for one kit, it was pretty expensive, and I don't know what to do. So, uh, okay. Oh my gosh, I'm just talking for like 15 minutes now. I need to go do stuff. Um, happy for this little girl. Um, I'm thinking that tomorrow I will definitely be finishing her. Because she is supposed to look like this. Let me just fix her a little bit. Like this. Everything is got. Everything is pretty good. And she is going to be finished tomorrow and go on a shelf up along with my nutcracker. And maybe her grandfather will join her sometime soon when the package will arrive. Okay guys, um, I will see you soon. Alright, so today is the 13th and it is done. So I am happy to say this is the second finish for this year. I've started this year pretty well, pretty good, pretty, pretty good. Two finishes, and I am really excited about it. Well, basically one and a half. One and, um, not even, not even a half. I have finished one of my, um, dimensions, ornaments. One out of the six, so it's not finished yet. But this is a finish, a definite finish, and look how cute she looks i'm hoping that the lighting is good because it seems like it's kind of lighter but look at her i have stitched her together she's already stitched both of her sides uh the little um how do you call this <laughs> um snowflakes the little snowflakes are looking so cute um, it's been a while since I've stitched with beads and I really really miss it. I actually kind of want to go back to it um, Like I said, I do have the kit for my um, you know beading but I'm going to wait with it a little bit, but this is one of my plans for this year as well So hopefully it will come true, but the little girl is finished um, I am so happy. I have two of these now. One is the Nutcracker. She is second. And hopefully, what is this? Hopefully, um, I'll get my package as soon as possible. I don't know what's going on with it. I think one package has arrived. And my cross-stitch journal is actually on the way. So it's supposed to be here by the end of this month. Um. I ordered it from Amazon, so it's supposed to be faster than the ones that coming from Ukraine. But what can I do? There's nothing that I can do. I'm still waiting on these little kits, and I'm still waiting to get the new order that I've just uh, made, like with the wooden um, kits which is something that also I am planning. As soon as I'm going to get those packages, I will definitely make a video for my plans for this year, along with the bigger projects and the smaller ones, of course. And like I said, happy, happy to say that I have finished her. I think she looks really, really pretty. I think that this project actually went very, very well for me. I don't know why. Maybe I just missed stitching on this plastic canvas um i'm not sure but i really enjoyed stitching her and it happened pretty fast so yeah hopefully i'll get the journal as soon as possible because i really really want to start writing down my finishes my starts what my project is about and that's something that's going to be really really interesting okay so what have i been stitching today i've actually got quite a bit um 
of stitching done today let me just show you what i've been doing so like i said um ornament number one like i've already showed you is already finished uh everything is done little uh, french knots what do you say about my french knots girls who are experts in french knots because i am definitely not an expert in french knots i have actually been kind of learning how to do it but i think i did i've done pretty good didn't i little snowflakes little flowers over here i think these are flowers uh, there's even a little doorknob on the door um, so yeah I think that I've done pretty well with the little uh, French knots and like I said I've started the new ornament today so this is number two let me show you what this is going to be where's my preview my preview so these is this is the kit this is a gold collection this is a Chris Christmas village ornaments and okay so I finished this one now what is the next one? Oh, there it is this is the next one so this is the project that I'm going to be stitching oh shoot this is the project that I'm going to be stitching right now so this is the little sleigh over here and I have already stitched a good amount so I think this house is much prettier than this one the first one i don't know what it is about it i like the first one of course but i think that this one looks a little more kind of romantic <laughs> for some reason i don't know maybe i'm kind of um being crazy but i like this house out of all of them the most i kind of really am this one is pretty good as well okay anyways um i've stitched a lot today i think uh, considering that i have a baby boy in the house but he is a very good little guy so he lets me stitch now if i open this let's see how much my saga says that i've stitched all together out of all six i have stitched one and started the second it says that i've stitched 18.70 something percent and I'll just open it there you go it is so fun to stitch out of saga especially kits okay now today's the 13th like i said i've stitched 435.5 <laughs> uh 0.5 is because i am stitching uh, half crosses all the lower and upper sides are the half crosses so saga counts them as half a cross of course so full crosses i've stitched 191 crosses and half stitches 489 altogether like when you collaborate both of them uh the half crosses with the full ones they counted as as 403 435 and a half well let's just you can just cut this in half because 489 it's half crosses and they count it as a full one so it's kind of half of it all right anyways i don't know what i was talking about but um yeah anyways i've started this uh it's 11 30 right now everybody's asleep i just need to go clean up the mess in the living room a little bit like the toys i meant and i want to do some diamond painting before i go to bed before it's too late because i don't want to go to bed too late tonight um but yeah that's my plan for tonight and tomorrow i'm thinking about stitching my designer chart maybe my uh swan and roses that's maybe going to be my stitch for tomorrow we'll see um i will see you soon so today is the 15th, or was the 15th, and it's 12.45, 46. <laughs> um, yep, yeah, I've been doing some stitching today. Actually, I did not do anything around the house today. I just didn't feel very well. Um, I'm not sick or anything. I'm just kind of, you know, feeling off. Um baby boy was pretty 
good today he was sleeping and playing and sleeping and eating and playing like always didn't fuss too much went to bed and i've been doing some diamond painting basically that was about everything i did today but uh something did happen today that really made me mad plus let me just talk about this for a while um for a while for a a couple of seconds um this is what i've been stitching today this is my swan and flowers roses whatever you, it is that you want to call it and i've i really made a good progress with it today i kind of enjoyed stitching it today for some reason i sometimes take on a project and i really really love stitching it so um this was the one that i chose today and i am kind of Actually, I could have kept stitching it, but it's too late and I need to go to bed. <laughs> so, um, I cannot continue and I don't think that tomorrow I'll be stitching it because maybe I think that tomorrow we'll try to drive to my mom's house, even though it's quarantine, but she really misses us and um, I kind of want to go stay with her for a couple of days. So, um, but I did stitch 500 and approximately 10 let's just say 510 crosses tonight today so that was around this area you probably have seen i've already inserted a picture of how it looked like before and i think that it's pretty obvious the change that occurred with this i think this is going to be a beautiful project especially when the um, back stitch is going to be stitched but um it's you know, I have still a lot to stitch. My cat is asking for whatever. Um, now, what have happened today that made me really, really upset? I've finally received a notice from my post office that I received a package. That was the package that was lost. The one from the store, my bobbin, which I probably told you about. The one that... Um, Israeli post office said that um, Ukraine didn't release and the seller in Ukraine said that they did release it so pro apparently our post office was wrong but it was kind of lost somewhere because it was missed now the thing is I got a notice to go pick it up I made an appointment at my post office for some reason it arrived to a post office and not a point where we get our you know packages from which is just outside of my house but that's not the point the point is that i went up to pick it up and guess what i did not you know why because it was ruined i've been waiting for that package for two months now uh i've been calling all over the place i've been fighting with the seller um and it has arrived destroyed if you remember the package that i got a little while ago with three kits that i haven't showed you maybe i will in some point but um the kits arrived i've, I've been sent those kits i didn't pay for them but those kits have arrived wet they have arrived ruined especially the fact that it was printed canvas um it, well it was kind of stinky and everything was wet um i ended up not making a review about that the seller kind of disappeared i guess they didn't care um uh, that's fine i didn't pay for those kits so if they don't care i don't really mind um and this kit have arrived wet as well i don't know what's going on I don't know why both of them arrived wet. Um, that actually makes me really, really nervous because um, I still have two packages on the way from to me and I'm afraid that they will arrive destroyed as well. And those packages are really, really something that I'm waiting on. So that makes me really nervous, but I am inserting a photo because I took a photo of that uh, package 
news that has arrived today. Listen, it was not just wet, it was, was it looked like somebody chewed it up. I mean, it's like it was laying in water the entire two months. Um, we opened the bag and the pack and inside the bobbins with the threads, they were all chewed up and ruined. Um, everything, like the kit was totally destroyed. It was not even, I, I cannot even describe. It was so disgusting. Um, the lady at the post office, she said that I better just say that I do not accept it. And they will ship it back and the seller has to give me my money back because, I mean, I I did not receive what I was paying for. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened last time. I have no idea what's going to happen next because, I st like I said, I still have a package coming in with little projects that I cannot wait to get. I really, really was wanting to get a couple of them. And I still have a package coming in with other pretty interesting stuff that I am planning on showing you in a video like all together. And this kit was so beautiful. I really wanted to get a kit like that for a while now. I can actually tell you it's a kit from Larry Stitch, which is, um, I think it's kind of a daughter company for uh, Lucas. And they have beautiful designs, and I really, really wanted that kit. Uh, but I guess, I don't know what happened. Anyways, that made me really, uh, you know, sad. <laughs> because I really, really was waiting on that. And just go be excited and go pick it up. And then just realize that, no. Um, okay, so I have wrote to the seller and they told me that, um, they told me, I, I'm kind of thinking about something else. I've wrote, I've written to the seller today and they have not responded yet. Now, the thing about my bobbin, I always ordered from them a lot. I've ordered from them quite a bit and they always responded right away because they have a chat in their, on their website. Now, for some reason, that chat is not working. Maybe it's because of Corona. Maybe they are not working. But the chat is not working. And um, they do respond by mail. But the last time I wrote to them, they have responded after five days. So writing to them today, I still didn't get an answer from them. And I'm afraid that I will not get an answer from them for quite a few days now. Um, I don't know what to do. I think they will answer that they are waiting for the kit to come back to them. I did send them a picture of the kit ruined. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, I'm really angry and upset and that's really kind of not cool. <laughs> now there's something that I was thinking about today. I have ordered a um, cross-stitch journal and it's been difficult to find one that I liked. Now, I was thinking today, I'm a graphic designer. I was designing booklets, books, flyers, business cards, um, different, um, how do you call it? Well, stuff. <laughs> a lot of things. Folders. Anyways, why not design my, design my own project book? Maybe that's something that I can do. Um, I was thinking I can design a book and maybe somebody will actually be interested in purchasing it because I think I can do a pretty good job uh, considering that I am a cross-stitcher. I am, like I said, a graphic designer. I have 10 years of um, working in the field uh, of designing stuff. I'm not working currently. Why not design a book? For myself and for people who are interested what do you guys think is that is that a good idea i mean do you ever use project books do you use uh like journals or something like calendars to count your projects um it's something 
pretty interesting to me because I have decided it would be really, really easy for me to just write down everything that I'm planning, everything that I'm doing, uh, what kits am I stitching, what count of fabric, or what colors, uh, materials, the name of the kit, when I start it, when I finish it. That's info that is pretty interesting to, you know, look at in the end of the year to see all your finishes, your starts. That's something that's going to be pretty interesting. So I'm thinking about that. What do you guys think? Is that something that you would like to see? Is that something that you ever used? Um, is that something that you will be like willing to purchase? Um, I mean, not particularly mine, but like at all. Do you ever use those kind of things? Um, I think I could do a pretty good job by designing a book like that. So, um, yeah, we'll see about that. I think that it can be something pretty interesting for me to do. Yeah. So, okay, I would love to hear what you have to say. I think this will be the final um, video f or clip for this um, cross-stitch chronicles crafty chronicles uh day uh and yeah i will be seeing you very soon we'll see what i'll be stitching tomorrow start filming again um subscribe give me thumbs up don't forget to press the bell below to be notified when my videos come out and you know i will be so grateful if you will just check out the donation button down below because i have a dream <laughs> and that's to purchase a heaven and earth kit and there was kind of another thought that crossed my mind today because i know heaven and earth do make their own diamond painting kits and i used to do a heaven and earth uh hyed um diamond painting which was in the very beginning of my channel that was destroyed by my dog but i'm thinking about making another one so my thought is should i purchase a kit uh for cross stitch which i do have a lot of them or should i purchase the kit for doing um diamond painting as a heaven and earth design that's something that i'm thinking about what do you guys think um and i started talking again anyways i'll say goodbye i love you all subscribe thumbs up and i'll see you soon